lift up a high praise to the Lord. For he's worthy of glory and he's worthy of honor. Come on, let's lift up his name in praise. Let's sing this song together. Let's lift up a high praise. Let's lift a high praise. My name is Emmanuel Inyada. I'm the pastor of the New Covenant Baptist Church, and I'm here to bring unto you the word of God for the month of May. And this month, God asked me to tell you that this is your month of all-round prosperity. As we can see it in the book of Deuteronomy and chapter 28, verse 11, the word of God says, The Lord will grant you abundant prosperity in the fruit of your womb, the young of your livestock, and the crops of your ground. And the land is swore to your ancestors to give you. And that is the word of God for you. And that as regard your family, there will be prosperity. As regard your career, there will be prosperity. As regard your business, there will be prosperity. As you a student, you are going to move forward. And God is also talking about your health. It's not a prosperity that is only limited to, to riches, to wealth. It's prosperity that has to do with everything that has to do with your life. I know that, friends, we are gradually coming out of lockdown, and we want to enter into another season. And I strongly believe uh, that this season we want to enter into will not be as normal as before. So, in this time like this, that is why God is saying he will grant you abundant prosperity. And I want you to look forward for that in the month of May. And I want you to begin, you know, to ask God to bring this to pass in your life. Are you a career person? I want you to begin to engage God in the place of prayer. To take that career to, a, to another level. Are you a business person? I need to let you know the Lord who did it for Isaac in the time of famine that makes him to prosper as a businessman trading in, in livestock, in, in, in crops. God prospered him. The Bible says he planted that year and God gave him hundredfold. And I want you to know that's what God is going to do because the Lord is the one who is saying here, I'm going to grant you. And I know it will be your portion. No, and God is also talking about your body, your mental health, your psychological health, everything that has to do with your health, God is saying, you are going to improve. You will get better. You will not be going to hospital as usual because the evening virtue of God will reach you. I don't know whether you have, you know, you have goals that you want to achieve this year. And with what has happened, six weeks has been taken away from us. It may look as if you will not be able to achieve your goal again. But I need to let you know, the abundance of God's prosperity will make you to achieve even beyond your goal this year. And as I'm going to close with you with a prayer from the book of 3 John chapter 1 and verse 2, the word of God said, Dear friend, I pray that you may enjoy good health, that all may go well with you, even as your soul is getting along well. And that's my prayer. And that is the prayer I'm going to be praying for you and your household all throughout the month of May. And by the grace of God, you are going to prosper in this month. Let us pray. Our Father, we say thank you for your word and your promise that you are going to make us to prosper in this month of May. And Father, I look unto you for my people. And I pray, Father, the Lord, as regard their career, you will prosper them. As regard their business, you will prosper them. As regard everything that has to do with them, there will be prosperity. I pray, Father, Lord God, for their children. As regard the academics, there will be prosperity. I pray, O oh God, Father, above all, the Lord, as they are going to experience physical prosperity, there will also be spiritual prosperity. 
because they will prosper in their soul. They will know you better. They will grow better in the knowledge of the Lord. And at the end of the day, when we are going to come before the Lord, at, at the Thanksgiving at the end of the month, we will come with the fruits of prosperity. Thank you because it is done. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. We are inviting you to the New Covenant Baptist Church, One Garden Close, in Jai Housing Estates, Agege, Lagos, Nigeria. We trust the Lord that as you join us on our days of worship, the Lord will do something new in your life. Sundays, we meet from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. for our Sunday school. From 10 a.m. to 12 noon, it's always a wonderful and glorious time in God's presence. On Tuesdays, we have a special program between 7 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. called Healing View where the Lord will visit you through healing, deliverance, salvation, and breakthrough. On Wednesdays, we meet between 6.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. for an impactful Bible study. We are waiting for you. We have special sections for children and teenagers. As you come and worship with us, the Lord will turn your situations around for good. In Jesus' name, Amen. God bless you.